What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing a article and a study that recently came out in the uh, Medscape uh, that dealt with should we reduce medical school to three years. Uh, I wanted to dis discuss that topic and uh, I want to see your thoughts. Let me give my thoughts as well. Uh, some proponents, some advocates of the program or the three-year programs suggest that it's for a select group of students mainly for students who have been out of um, you know of college for a while who have <clears throat> real world experience who have went to work and didn't go straight to medical school um, it's only for a select few group of people there are a few schools that do currently offer three-year programs nyu uc davis MRSA, and georgia and as well as texas tech so those schools especially nyu which offers a acceleration or deceleration path where uh, the first three years are the same as a four-year track but your fourth year you go into an internship um, during your first year at NYU they give you the option whether to take the accelerated path three year or to take the decelerated path four year um, some people who are proponents of the three year says that you can get through medical school quicker which would not solve the problem of um, the shortage of physicians, but it would get more physicians out to, into the workforce, as well as you know decrease the amount of tuition that you have to pay. The AMA uh, suggested that a private school, going to a private medical school, costs about two hundred and eighty-nine thousand dollars. So, and even at Georgetown in D.C., where I went to school, it's eighty thousand per year. So. If I could have saved eighty thousand dollars, which could potentially be one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty, by the time you finish residency, by going to a three-year program, I would have strongly considered it. Um, other uh, proponents of the uh, three-year program states that um, you know you can, uh, like I said, get in and get out. If you kind of know what you want to do, if you're going into medical school, which not a lot of students do, and you kind of change your mind as you go through the process but if you already know if you want to be a neurologist or a neurosurgeon why waste an additional year where you can get started on your training um, some opponents of the um, three-year pathway suggest that you don't get the medical knowledge that four-year students do although there was a study that showed that um, that not may not necessarily be true um, you may not decide in time what specialty you want to go into. For me, I didn't decide on orthopedics until almost my fourth year. So if I would have did a three-year program, I would have been behind the um, you know the board a little bit when I, deciding to apply for my weight rotations, my um, uh, residency program in general. Um, other proponents state that um, you, you don't have the skill set um, and then if you're coming straight out of college at you know 21 22 and then graduating at a younger age of medical school some proponents say that you know you may not be old enough to um, you know to handle residency which I kind of disagree with uh, some people say that um, they speak of burnout but most of these schools that have these programs have the same curriculum so um, it's not like in the 70s where they tried this before and a lot of students burnt out because they didn't allow summer breaks, winter breaks, but it seems like NYU, you still get the same summer break, winter break, um, and you just have the same curriculum for the first three years. So personally, I think it's actually a good idea. During my last year of medical school, um, I spent two months just interviewing. They gave us time off, December, January, so I had two months off. Other months, um, there were some small electives, which I didn't think were very helpful. Uh, so, you know, that's four months right there. That's already that I felt like it was a waste of my time. Um, if I can save $80,000 on tuition, I would definitely do that. Like I said, this could be with compound interest, 100000 or 120, 130 by the time you finish your residency training, depending on what you go into. <laughs> and I didn't feel like I learned how to be a doctor until residency. So I think the quicker you can get students out of medical school where you learn the foundation, but I didn't really learn how to be a doctor until residency and, you know, doing direct patient care when I had to make decisions by myself, order CAT scans, order labs, ESR, CRP, um, a CCP, 
blood cultures, do that stuff on your own. And I think that's where you uh, learn to become a doctor. So I'm a fan of it. I think um, I think more schools should adopt this three year policy. Um, I don't think it's going to solve the problem with the shortage of physicians, but it will get some more physicians out there to start seeing patients sooner. Um, but I want to see what your thoughts are. Do you think that medical school should be reduced to three years? Why or why not? If you guys have any questions, email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or hit me up on my website, antoniowebmd.com. Thanks.